Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Tom back here with another video. And I know some other YouTubers have made a video like this on what their biggest problems are with NBA 2K21. My team, I think Isaac made one, and I think DVG made one as well. But I'm going to go over kind of my my takes. What I think is the biggest problems with this game alone and how I think it can be fixed with just a simple thing. So I'm going to talk about gameplay wise, non gameplay wise, and what 2K could do to make everyone happy. But before we go into the video, if you are new to the channel and have not yet, please smash the subscribe button as we're on the road to 35,000 subscribers. And guys, the first problem that I see with this game starts with the auction house. For example, I just, I'm guessing there's going to be something here. So I'll go into a silver contract, maybe buy one for 300, right? Okay, let's let's try 350. Maybe there's maybe there's one for 350. Okay, I, I need one. I need one so this works for my my video here. Okay, 400. I'm guessing these are actually 400. But let's see here if I can if I can find this something that will work for the sake of this video here. Okay, so a 750 for Juan Show Hernan, Hernan, Hernan Gomez. Now I doubt this is going to work that right there that is that should never happen in the game why do i go to buy something that appears like it should it should be viable and then it says another user has bought out this auction and it's not that they just bought it from the refresh to now it was probably gone 30 minutes ago when it got posted this should not happen for people that like working the auction house this is a killer imagine trying to snipe and something's on your filter for uh, forever it's absolutely terrible this is one of the most annoying things and it's not even a gameplay thing thing it's just simply an auction house fix i don't know how auction house works but i can't i, I can imagine this cannot be that hard to fix and it's one of the most annoying and infuriating things in the game so for those of you that don't even care about the auction house let's say you're grinding for your level your xp some of these season agendas are broke. They've been broken a ton. And I know some people, I don't remember what challenge it was exactly, but they were able to do challenges at least twice. They did a cha all the challenges through, then they did them again, and they got double the XP. And everybody else is behind because of that. And it's like, what in the world? Another agenda, for example, was this, where is it, where is it at? Uh, the challenge in which you had to play 100 limited games. I think it's right in here. You had to play 100 limited games. And some people would just get in the game and quit out of them so it's an easy 100 wins. Now, that's not necessarily the worst part about the challenges that I'm going to get to. The worst part about these challenges that I'm going to get to is I think some of these still to this day are broken. At least my brother texted me last night saying the Luis Scolo challenge was broken. I don't, I, I didn't try it, but I have done challenges that are broken. Some of these challenges just simply won't work. You'll do the challenge and then you're not going to get the XP for it. And it's not even completable. I don't know why. I don't know how. 2K, how hard should it be to really just to, to, to just get the challenges right? All you got to do is if I score six points in a triple threat online game, just give me the XP for it. Most of the time it does, but I would say about five, three to five percent of the time, three to five percent of these challenges probably will not work for you. Even some of these daily challenges before haven't worked. Some of the moments challenges haven't worked. And it's just super annoying for those people that grind. Let's say you grind out the Tyler Hill five. 37 points in a game you focus a soul domination game to get it done and then the xp doesn't work that is annoying and 2k needs to make sure that they fix every challenge that is broken to be honest with you guys i could talk about the gameplay in general for about 15 to 20 minutes now i'm not going to spend that much time on it probably hopefully i can get through everything i want to get through in five minutes here but it all starts with just the defensive mechanics simply put if you have clay thompson have fun He's going to be guarding the center. And I don't know why or how, but it's always been in the game. It's always been a glitch that Klay Thompson guards the opposing center. Now, I don't know if there's a way to fix it, but whenever I'm up against a Klay Thompson, he guards my center. It was like this in past two Ks. And if you can't simply fix Klay Thompson being stuck on guarding a center 2K, I just... I don't know. That should be the simplest of fixes. I don't know how to fix it. I'm not, I'm not you know, that smart, but... I feel like that fix should be fixable in, in an hour. Whatever you got to do to fix that, please get that fixed. Because I don't run clay, but I know it's annoying for a lot of people that do. So that's as far as the matchup screens. Defensive setting screens. Here's the thing. If you put off-ball pressure on anything besides deny ball, 
your corners are gonna drop. Somebody drives in, gets in the lane or to the free throw line. Even if you have, even if you have, let's say, tight on and no help, they're gonna help off. They're gonna sit lane lines extended. Even if you run five out top of the key, you take one dribble inside the three point line. It's over. They're gonna help every single time. So you have to run deny ball. But here's the problem I've noticed: when I run deny ball. I can't send any double teams. I like to double team. I like to rotate out of them. But with the deny ball, off ball pressure setting, you can't even manually send up teams. I don't know why it is like it in 2K. I don't know how it's like it, but I would just love if they fix that. Cause then my, you know, just fix the tight setting in which if it's on tight, make sure they don't drop lane line. And then I don't even have to worry cause then I can still send my double teams, do all that. But it is very, very annoying that I have my off ball pressure on. It has to be on deny right now. And I can't send double teams. I can't even run the defense I want to run. And so the, the just defense and mechanics right now of the game are just super, super broken. It's hard to be a good defender on this game right now. Because first of all, the mechanics are broken. Second of all, you play defense. And then John Stockton does a 360 between the legs dunk on, on top of two two guys in the lane when the shot clock's running down. And it's just so derailing as a good defender when you can't even play the defense that you want to truly that you want to truly play. And I know a lot of guys are having trouble with defensive settings, and I tell them what I run, but it just doesn't work. It, 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 listen. My defensive settings is gonna put you in the best position possible, but it still just doesn't work. Next thing I'm going to talk about, the ball goes through my defender's hands more than they catch it on defense. If I'm in a passing lane, press square, it'll go over their hands and then they'll knock down a three. I just, if I'm in the lane and they have some sort of interceptor, it should be a, it should be a snatch every single time. If I read the lane, read the passing lane, whatever it is, there's just so much wrong with the defensive mechanics that allows the offensive players the upper hand like crazy. And I know it's just it's so frustrating so derailing even if i have some other on ball pressure on sometimes my defender will just back off for no reason and they'll just knock down a three like i'm playing off ball trying to play a passing lanes next thing i know they green a three in my face i'm like how i got some other on ball pressure on the game mechanics defensive settings wise is absolutely a mess it's a mess and 2k has to find a way to at least better their defensive setting mechanics the last thing i'm going to talk about today so a lot of people, I've get, I've, get, I've gotten through the gameplay wise, game, I've gotten through gameplay pretty quickly. But the last thing I am going to talk about today is zones. A lot of people, because the defensive settings being broken, are forced to run zone, including myself. Sometimes I'll run zone, sometimes I'll try man. It's defense is just really a mess at this point of the game. But the but so if you run zone right and you're attacking a zone, the, the first problem is right now, the the way to attack zone is you get in the middle of the paint, whatever. But when you kick it out a lot of times to your small forward, their zone glitch is still in the game. And which your small forward can't shoot the ball. Why is that still a thing in the game? That should not be hard to fix. It should be a simple fix. If they can shoot in a, in a man, why can't they shoot in a zone? You'll catch the ball and those they'll, they'll just sit there. Even when you're holding X or square, it just doesn't work like it should. The game mechanics right now in Unlimited is don't get me started about unlimited. I forgot about talking about that. The 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 amount of whites that I see go in on unlimited. I'm lucky I still got the same monitor here because the thing is I play great defense. The defense is broken first of all, and then they smack a white. Like I'm fine with they with them making some whites, but the amount of whites go in. If it's a wide open, it's at least 50 50 percent, probably over 50 if it's a good shooter for that white to drop and that's not that shouldn't be the case you should get rewarded for greening shots not just eh, you green congrats you know you could have made it if you want i just I, I think the skill gap needs to be increased somehow i think it starts with fixing the defense as a whole the defense has to be fixed defensive settings have to be able to work you have to be able to come up with something and which they will work zone glitch has to be fixed clay shouldn't be guarding centers at all domination should not be like i'm i'm, I'm playing you know listen I've lost like five domination games this year. There were months last year where I'd play thousands of unlimited games. I kid you not. I played a thousand unlimited games in one month. Okay, that's besides the point. I lost a total of two times, I think, in that month. Two or three times. I played a hundred domination games and I lost at least five. Can somebody explain why domination is harder than playing unlimited right now? I'm really 20, I think 21 and 0 in unlimited. Obviously, I've got air codes in unlimited, which is another problem. 
uh, that, that everybody's having, but can we just can we just fix the domination difficulty? So my so if I have a little 12 year old brother that they can at least get George Mikan if they grind for the game. George Mikan shouldn't be a card that you have to be super good for. That's not what domination is for. That's what unlimited's for. But let alone, my little brother would probably have more fun playing Unlimited than getting through Domination. Because if he wipes a shot, hey man, he's going to have I There's just so much wrong with the game. In my opinion, it's easy enough to fix. I, at first, I was like, there's no way they're fixing it. It's easy enough to fix if they put their time and effort into it. They're probably too focused on next gen. I just pray that this game finds a way to get better. But that's really going to wrap it up for the video, guys. Drop your comments below on what you guys think are the biggest problems within NBA 2K21. I know I missed a ton of them, but I went over a brief summary of kind of the one of the stuff that bugs me the most, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.